hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some it's not and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it. Let's get to it, y'all. So, there's a little um, more rumors going around. So, I had to get into the rumors, y'all. And um, yesterday, they, Night and Day Network, they put out a video. And they were saying that somebody sent them some footage of Jamie Foxx, you know, escaping the hospital y'all <laughs> they got jamie fox looking like he's sneaking out through the through the y'all through the gate and everything it amazes me that they think this is funny they think this funny now i'm not gonna lie when i first saw that i started busting up laughing then i thought about this i was like they are really making a mockery of jamie fox if jamie fox is well and he's a part of this you know stuff that's going on and, and you know that they are putting out and stuff like that i'm gonna tell y'all jamie fox gonna lose fans over this because a lot of people are worried worried about jamie y'all and this only makes it worse the fans is gonna be peed off okay now not only did that little footage come out that they sent to night and day network yesterday but they also somebody posted on his ig account y'all now, I'm going to tell y'all, I don't think Jamie is posting this stuff. And a lot of people don't think he's posting this stuff. But some people believe it. Some people is believing this mess. And I don't know why they want people to believe that he's well if he's not. Show his face. Show him. You know what I'm saying? If he is well enough to put up this on his IG account or whatever he put this on then why wouldn't you show him? It just doesn't make any sense, y'all. It seems like when you stop talking about Jamie, his own inner circle is making you talk about him again. And it doesn't make any sense, y'all. If this man is in bad shape as they say he is, then they're making a mockery of this guy. You are not helping his career. You are making, you are peeing off his fingers. This is what you're doing. And it don't make sense because y'all are trying to keep that money flowing. People want to know how he's doing. They don't want to hear about what he has going on. Because everybody knows. All they got to do is Google his name. And it's going to tell you that um, Jamie Foxx upcoming, you know, projects. It's going to say it. And I'm going to tell you this. Jamie Foxx don't need this to sell anything. Any music that Jamie Foxx makes, people going to go check it out. Any movies or TV shows that Jamie Foxx makes. People going to go check it out. So you, he don't need this. Some people need all of this drama in order to get their, you know, their views up or whatever else. Okay. Just take Trap Boy Freddy. You know, he got to use Taking Out Mo 3 as leverage to keep his name out there because his music doesn't do it for nobody, him or Yellow Beast. Okay. So this is a prime example of somebody that has to do this. To be relevant and somebody that doesn't. And Jamie Foxx don't have to do this to be relevant, y'all. So this is the post that they say that he typed up and posted. It says, it's about to go down. The, they clone Tyrone coming July 21st. Only on Netflix. So you already know that this is about marketing. And I wouldn't be surprised that his daughter didn't put this up. Because who gonna have access to his accounts? And I told you, it's about the money. It's about them keeping up this money that's coming in. They got to keep this money flowing. And it's, it's stupid to me. I, I'm going to just be completely honest with y'all. This is so stupid to me. That you are post, you are marketing and trying to sell something. Instead of saying, you know, my dad's doing better. My dad's this, my dad's that. It actually putting out the truth. This is sad. I told y'all, the people that he have in his inner circle... Are pathetic y'all they really are his whole little marketing team is pathetic the more people hear about pickleball the more it turns them away i haven't seen nobody i didn't went to subway out and went different places where they're selling this pickleball and talk about pickleball this and pickleball that 
I ain't seen nobody order no pickleballs. Subway sandwich. I ain't seen nobody order. Not one person when I went to Pizza Hut or none of these places order the pickles on the pizza. I ain't, I ain't seen it. And if you go to Walmart, the shelf is still full of those pickleball rackets, y'all. Ain't nobody buying it. You know why? Because people are thinking this is the game that they're playing. And they're trying to play it on us. This is what people are feeling like. You know, if they came out and was being more, you know, sincere about something and just, you know, caring about the people that have been supporting Jamie for years, by giving them a little something instead of you just keeping on trying to push this money into everybody's face, it just seems like this is what it's all about in the first place, y'all. Seriously. This is what it seems like. His daughter posting stuff, then take it back down. It just, it just seems childish. It seems like you, you know, you reaching, trying to do anything. And then, like I told you, the report that I got that she was, you know, on the edge and stuff right now. And then all of a sudden, this pop out. This is peeing people off, y'all. This is what this is doing. Now, this is what they put out. And of course, you got Kerry Washington and all these people. Let's go and all this. Uh, welcome back. People saying welcome back. Uh, welcome back to what? A sentence that somebody put out and this could have nothing to do with Jamie outside of this the movie that he's in. But have he shown his face or said anything? No. From what I'm hearing, the reports are Jamie Foxx is depressed right now, y'all. He ain't posting about no movie. So his new handlers... Which what it looks like. I'm going to say allegedly. It's the ones that's posting this stuff up. Trying to keep that money flowing. I told you all of this was about money in the first place. This is what they do when they're about to take a, a celebrity out. They put him in a bunch of stuff. Have his name tied to a bunch of stuff. And then everybody prospers off of this. But Jamie is still allegedly holding on. And um, he's not going to be happy y'all. I'm just going to tell you this. If he's in a vegetable state like people are saying he is pretty much, he's not going to be happy, y'all. People on here saying, welcome back, champ. Let's go. Let's go where? They, You know, it's, it's some people out here that's so sleep. They don't even realize when they're not even talking to the person that they've been talking to all this time. Y'all have been running back. And, and I'm going to tell y'all this. Even when celebrities are not in the situation that Jamie is in right now. And y'all think that y'all are going back and forth with them. The majority of the time, it's somebody that works for them that's handling their messages and this and that and that and this. Now, every now and then, they will jump on there and message you. Certain people do do that, okay? You got Carly B. She stay on social media and stuff like that. But Jamie being the busiest person that he is all the time involved in something, I don't see him... Going back and forth with everybody. Not all the time. So the majority of the time, it's most likely his family members or some, you know, somebody that works for him that's doing that. Which probably is his daughter because she got a lot of time on her hands. She ain't doing nothing. Okay, y'all? Most likely that's what that's about. So they don't even understand when they're not even, you know, speaking with the person that they think they're speaking to. You really think Jamie is typing up this stuff and Jamie is in therapy? Are you serious? Are you serious? They're saying one side of him is paralyzed, y'all. Word on the street. And y'all think, and you know, it could be the hand that he write would. You mean, I'm just saying the type would. You don't even know if he's really back. And word on the street is, when, um... You know, when I watched the video of Night and Day, when they were saying that somebody sent them this footage right here, they were speaking as if, you know, um, the movie was about to come out this week or something. But July is next month. The movie comes out next month. So why did they send them this 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 stuff right here? I'm about to show it to y'all. I'm going to have to go fast so y'all can see him call himself sneaking up at the hospital. But why are they playing games with Jamie's fans? Because this is what this is doing. Everything that they're doing is peeing people off. And I told y'all this. Even though people are going to be happy to see Jamie at the same time, and if he's doing good and this and that, people are going to be happy to for it. But they're going to be like, you mean to tell me over two months you had us worried about you and it was all a lie for publicity to hype up your movie, the clone Tyrone and all this stuff? 
which means a lot of people was working with him to keep this lie going if it was a lie. But what I'm hearing is Jamie will never be the same again. Y'all, that's what I heard. He will never be the same again. So some stuff you can tell if somebody might come up out of it, you know, they show signs for, you know, improvement and stuff like that. But sometimes you automatically know if somebody's not going to just fully recover. And this is what I'm hearing, that he's not going to fully recover, y'all. But this is what, you know, was sent to Night and Day Network. Jamie Foxx sneaking out of the hospital. This is what somebody just sent to Night and Day. And they were thinking that they were sent this because his movie is about to come out this week or today. But it wasn't. His movie is coming out next month. So I don't know what's going on that they sent this to this man and somebody put this footage together to send to him them. But this don't make sense. It's like they're making a mockery of him and they're playing in the, you know, um, the fans' face with all of this. Okay? They're just playing in their face. Was Netflix about to get paid off of Jamie Foxx big time with all of the, the movies and everything? I mean, I done went and watched movies on Netflix that I didn't even know Jamie had. I don't want to watch. Just think about how much publicity that's coming their way because they had Jamie in all these movies, y'all. And I never watched his game show. I never watched that with him and his daughter. I never watched it before. But I think I'm going to go check it out now because you just want to see Jamie how he used to be. Because word on the street, he's not that person anymore. But I can't get with the children of the corn. I'm just saying, y'all. And there's no hate. It's just that when you come out and lie and then you got a little smart mouth about it after you get caught up in your lie. And then you erase the, um, the message and everything that you put out that he was playing pickleball. And now you erase it and all of that stuff. You know, you played yourself. You play yourself. And whatever career that you thought you was going to have, I, people ain't trying to, they ain't not, not feeling hurt like that no more. The ones that, the few that was, you know, in her head. Okay, y'all? So, everything I looked at, the, re, the release date for They Clone Tyrone is July 14th. That's next month. So, that makes no sense. You know what, Nine Day and them said that they did this because the movie's going to come out tomorrow or this week or whatever they said. That don't make no sense. It just seems as if they sending this stuff out to keep people talking about Jamie, but y'all claim y'all don't want him to be people to talk about him. It, it make it make sense. Y'all don't want people to talk about him, but when, when it, you know, when things die down some, y'all stop talking about him as much. Y'all send something so people can talk about him again. It doesn't make sense, y'all. The whole thing makes no sense. And to have this man looking like he's, you know, coming out of, sneaking up out of the hospital right here. Um, and then you post the same day, something posts on their, in, on their, on his IG. And then you send a blogger this mess right here. It just seems like they are playing games, y'all. And they're messing up this man's career by doing this mess. Now, I want y'all to think about this. Because this is another thing that's coming out in different little, you know, social media stuff. Jamie Foxx issues huge career update after worrying health scare. Okay. These are the stories that was coming out, you know, yesterday saying that, you know, he's, you know, leaving these messages, which we don't know he's not leaving these messages. He's not posting on social media. That's what I truly believe he's not doing that, y'all. Because this man is more concerned about, you know, being able to get back to himself again than he is about this movie. And a lot of people is more concerned about Jamie's health right now than what movie he's about to be in. Everybody is looking like, what is they, you know, what is they trying to do? What is they trying to prove the people that's around him? If this ain't about money, then what is it, y'all? Ask yourself this question. What is it? Now, right on the street, like I told y'all, the family was feuding and all kind of stuff was going on with Jamie. Okay? Now, this is another, and this, these, a lot of these outlets that's posted about Jamie, I've never heard of. Daily Record, I've never heard of this. I'm just saying, you know, it could be legit that, you know, but at the same time, how can it be? Okay? 
They posted Jamie Foxx returned to social media months after a scary onset incident left him hospitalized to update fans on his latest movie. Um, this is the same media outlet that just posted. And if you look at the bottom, this story came from Daily Record and this story right here came from Daily Record when it says related articles. Now, one minute you're saying Jamie Foxx family preparing for the worst as actor remains in hospital. This is the same place that said the Jamie family is preparing for the worst. And now they're saying that he just returned to social media. So off top, I can't believe anything that these people are saying right now because they are going back and forth, which makes you wonder who's paying them to put out all this stuff and just keep sending people from this direction into that direction outside of the family. I'm just saying y'all, something is odd about this. Then they posted Jamie Foxx to front new game show after leaving hospital over medical complications. They post that, then they turn around and said that he, the family's parent preparing for the worst and now they're saying that he returned to social media. Who's paying these people to put this stuff out? I don't understand it, y'all. I really don't. Now, I want to show y'all something because a lot of people was, you know, questioning what I said. Now, I am going to Google right now and I am about to take a screenshot and let you all see what I see right now, y'all. This is what I'm about to do. Let you all see what I see. <clears throat> Which make me believe, excuse me, y'all, that um, the family was feuding and they are still probably feuding over this man's money. This is this what makes me believe this, y'all. This right here. That Jamie Foxx family is definitely feuding over his money. And at the same time, they're trying to keep that money flowing. The more people watch that movie, the more he more, more money going into his pocket. And they are simply playing games with us. Now, let me show y'all what I see. Okay? Because people was like, his his daughter, both of his daughter name is still on, you know, Google and this and that and that and this. I just did this while I'm on here with you all. Okay? I'm going to blow it up a little bit. You put in Jamie Foxx and it says American actor. Right, y'all? And these are the stories that just took place right now that, that, that they're just putting out right now. And, of course, they go Daily Record, BT, Variety, The Independent, okay? Nothing major. But look over here where it says children, y'all. This is what I was trying to show tell you all before. That there's some feuding going on between him and, you know, over his money, allegedly, okay, y'all? Um, at first, it had Annalise on here. And now it only has Kareem Fox on here. What happened to his other daughter's name being on here? And why was it mysteriously taken off, y'all? Ask yourself this question. I mean, why in the world? Why? And it looks like Annalise could have been somewhat named after his mother because it says his parents' name is Darrell Bishop and the mother name is Louise Annette. Tally Dixon, okay? Um, so her name is kind of close to his mother's name, Annalise Anna Annette. Why was her name taken off, y'all? Hmm. Huh. Ask yourself this question. I mean, even if the mother got mad and took her name off, the real still knows that, you know, she was claiming to be his daughter. The good top player, y'all. With all the hair over head. I don't know, for the love of me. They used to have Beyonce daughter looking like that, okay? Remember until all her fans was like, can you please comb her hair? So I guess people going to have to get together and be like, can you please comb Annalise's hair in order for her mama and them to comb her hair, y'all? Because she, she looked like a mop by the head. And I'm just being completely honest. But they done took her off of Google as his daughter, y'all. So are the rumors true? About, you know, some DNA was taken, y'all, and proved that somebody wasn't his. Is the rumors true? Because this is what it looks like. And then when you pull up Jamie Foxx and you go to images, if you go to images, just by pulling up his name, you only see the pictures of him and his daughter and, you know, Tom Cruise, ex-wife and stuff like that. But I wasn't seeing 
Annalise unless and you type in Annalise name and then excuse me y'all that's when you will see her with Jamie but at first they had pictures all over excuse me y'all up under Jamie Fox um name I don't drink that much coffee this coffee is making me burn um they got they had when I was doing these stories before they took her name off I put Jamie Fox in her name was everywhere her name was everywhere. I mean, her pictures was everywhere. Her name was coming up, and now it's not. So did the mama lie about this child being Jamie's? And did the family just find out, y'all, that she's not? Because they have her off of here. And who was behind that, y'all? I think whoever, and this is my personal opinion, but I'm thinking that maybe this Kareem, children of the corn child, it was pushing her out the way. Maybe she already knew this child wasn't Jamie's. Did she go and get a test done secretly? On this girl pretending like she cool with her? I'm just saying, did she get a piece of her hair or, you know, swab her or get a glass or something and go get some DNA ran so that she can prove that Jamie, this girl wasn't Jamie's daughter too so she can just be left with everything? I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. Because I got mixed stories when I was asking the question. If Jamie Foxx's mother and father lost legal rights to Jamie, and Jamie was raised by somebody else, and Jamie got rich and this and that, and that longer down the line. If something happens to Jamie, do his daughter still have to share with his mother and father if they lost legal rights to him? And a lot of people sent me messages saying they don't. She don't. So, is children of the corn knocking folks off the list so that she can be the heir to the throne, y'all? And it doesn't matter to her if the career jumps off or not because she can still keep pushing the stuff that Jamie Foxx already has out here and still get paid off of that. So, is she not even caring about having no career or if anybody really cares about her anymore? I'm just saying, y'all, because I just find it odd that this other daughter that, you know, he was sitting up there playing piano with and all of this stuff has been wiped off of Google, y'all. Pictures are starting to be taken down off of Google. Unless you exactly put her name in there. Or if you put Jamie Foxx's daughters, then there's still old pictures floated. But they're taking them off as far as, pull up Jamie's name. I'm under his name right now. Wait, I got to put it back in. Let me put his name in one more time. And I am going to images under Google. And, okay, I see one picture of her. Because last time I did it, all of them was gone. But now I see one picture, but the majority of the pictures are... Okay, I see a couple that have been added back, y'all. It looked like a couple have been added back. I'm not going to lie. Something is weird about this. To me, something is weird about this. So weird. At first, there were none. And I guess when somebody mentioned it, now they, they, they done put it back on there, y'all. But it's still not like it was. She had a lot of pictures with him. But the majority of the pictures now are just him and children of the corn, y'all. And I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. Um... I don't see no re resemblance, to be honest. I don't see no resemblance to her and Jamie. But, you know, it is what it is. But even if that's the case, why did they take her name off of here, y'all? So, is the family beefing over Jamie's money? And at the same time, they're beefing over Jamie's money. Are they, ask yourself this question, working on knocking people off the list that would have been his heirs to the world, y'all? that would have had some money into this now what i don't know is is the woman because nobody is mentioning this woman that raised his mother that adopted his mother and raised him as well i don't hear nobody talking about her so is she still alive is my question y'all i need to find out is she still alive because if she is due to the fact that she's the one that raised him um she would be the heir too as for you know along with his daughter I can't say daughters because they just took her off of off of here. So this is what makes me think that 
the rumors are true that they found out something that his other daughter wasn't his. I'm just saying, y'all. I don't know. I don't be around these people. I'm saying allegedly because y'all see what I see. And when I heard the rumors that they were fat, the fight, you know, your little mingle session, you know, talk session was going on between the family over his money and this and that and that and this. Um, when I looked up his name and I told you I've been doing this story quite a bit. At first, both names was popping up and now it's not. So that's weird to me. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, nine day getting sent, you know, something saying that Jamie is, you know, escaping the hospital let me know what y'all think about if Jamie Foxx walked up out that hospital and act like everything was cool. Do y'all think his fans is going to be cool with that? Do y'all think they're going to be, you know, all in their feelings about you mean to tell me over too much you had us worried about you? Is they going to be like that? Or do y'all feel like they're going to just embrace him and his daughter and them with open arms, you know, and forget about this whole two months of last, okay, to promote a picture? So y'all let me know what y'all think because I, I, I want to know. I really want to know. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.